My name is Trent Irby. I'm the Extension Soybean Specialist with Mississippi State University. I'm standing in front of one of our smart fields for the 2012 growing season. Our smart program is uh, generated so that we can act one-on-one -on, -one on a personal level with some of our producers and demonstrate effective research and technology that we can help to manage our soybeans better to improve yields and bottom line for the producers. One of the reasons we chose this particular field right here behind us was the uh, uh, grower we were working with, Mr. Andrew, Andrew Lee, had uh, told us that he had historically had a lot of problems uh, with his soybean yields. One of the things we, when we're discussing a smart field with a grower, we, we'd rather have a problem field to try to help that grower troubleshoot the field and find some problems instead of just a, a perfect field that, you know, has, has good yields every year if the weather allows it to. So we like taking a problem field. Uh, we went in over the winter and uh, addressed some fertility issues, etc. Uh, iron chlorosis has historically always been a problem in this uh, Blackland Prairie area as it runs up Highway 45 up here. We knew we had to find a variety that had some iron chlorosis uh, tolerance, so we, we picked a variety out for that. Uh, we went through uh, several weeks of dry weather in late May and June. Uh, we did have a lot of iron chlorosis. The beans yellowed up but uh, we caught some timely rainfall in July, and uh, fortunately the soybeans responded good to that variety, you know, greening back up and still uh, able to set some pods and so forth and not just die from the chlorosis. I think uh, some other varieties might have just died. It was so bad, uh, and, and the beans wouldn't have grown at all. So that's where we're at. We are able to plant the field in a timely fashion. Uh, caught some timely rains. We did uh, treat this field with a fungicide, uh, in the mid, early to mid July time frame at the, at the R3, R4 growth stage. We were a little hesitant to do that at the time because it was really dry. We made a decision to go ahead and do it and uh, looking back it ended up being the right decision because we, we caused some rain to, to help our yield after that. Mm -hmm.